Hey guys, welcome to Traditional Bow Hunting Wilderness Podcast. This is Jason Sam Kovac. Today we're going to talk about something I've actually never talked about before, and that is my shooting tab, why I use it, and what one I use, and some of that kind of stuff. There's a lot of incredible tabs out there, and if it wasn't for some of these reasons I'm going to mention, I'd, I'd venture into some of these other tabs that are out there. Uh, you know, like Mark over there at Omnivore Quivers, his tabs look amazing. The EC or EW Bateman tabs look really good. There's a lot of fantastic tabs out there if you want to shoot a tab. <clears throat> the advantage to me for a tab has nothing to do with releasing the string. I don't care how well my release is. I shot with a glove for the first, whatever, seven or eight years of traditional bow hunting. And then I went to a tab. And what I like about the tab, this is the one I use all the time. But I like the fact that I can swing it out of the way. Okay, that's it right there. I wear this tab like this 99% of the time I'm in the woods. This tab is like this, reversed on my hand, set backwards like this. And that's how I wear it all the time. That's the beauty of it. When I need it, all I got to do is swing it around. Grab my string and I'm ready to go. But it just stays on the back of my hand. It doesn't fall off. I don't lose it. It's not going anywhere. It's just always right there on the back of my hand all the time. When I need it, I just give it a quick spin and I'm ready to roll. Um, so that's one of the reasons I like a tab. When I want to climb up and down a tree um, or I need to move something, my hands are free. I can do whatever I want to. If I want to use my binoculars, I want to do anything, it's free. When I need to shoot, it's that quick. It's just a simple, quick Flip right around, and there it is. So I like that design a lot. Um, now the tab that I'm using, as you can see here, is pretty beat up. It's been through the ringer. Okay, goes through a lot. I've been using this one for, I get about two or three years out of one of them before I wear them out. And the main reason I wear them out is because I use a brass knock. And you can see that it kind of chews that up a little bit on there. Just uh, gets into it a little bit and makes it a, you know, chew it up some. But they last for quite a while. This is a style that many people have no interest in. It is that pinch free style with this uh, head on here. And I totally get that, but I modify mine some. We'll talk about that in a minute. But the advantage to me of having a tab the main advantage is the fact that I can uh, I can wear that on the back of my hand. I don't have to have gloves on my fingers. Um, I, I don't. It's easy to do. It's easy to put on my arrow when I carry it. All I do is I take my judo out, stick my judo through the um, finger part of this, and I put it right back in my quiver and keep that tab between the head and the gripper, and so that tab can just float anywhere it wants on here. But it is always with my bow. I never lose it that way. So what it is, is it's a pinch-free tab like this. Here's one I have about, I, I've been using these things for, like I said, well over 20 years. And I probably have about, uh, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 of these still left. Um, so I got bunches of them. Here's another one here that's already set up, ready to go, that's a spare that I carry in my bag. But I want to show you what they look like and they come from. So what it is, is it is, uh, and, and they're cheap. <clears throat> they're about nine bucks, okay? They're not expensive. It's a neat Pinch free tab. I, this is a super leather one, so it's not a calf hair or nothing. It's leather. And it's a left hand because I am, and it's medium in size. I have a few of the largest too. I like the mediums better because they do over time stretch a little bit, and I like the medium stretched out more than I like the large stretched out. Um, but like I said, this is nothing fancy. There is no, you know, nothing magical about this tab. Um, it's actually very elementary and rudimentary on a lot of levels here. But see this big split they put in this thing right here for you to split your fingers out and keep you from pinching together I can't stand that so as soon as I get them I'm going to modify it and make it look more like this one by removing that out of there so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to rip this right out of here so I'm going to pull it open and I'm going to peel this felt out and sometimes it can be a little tricky but I'm going to take this felt right out of here it's a pain in the butt to get but we're gonna just pull this right out of here like this. Peeling, you know, it's just sticky stuff, but we're ripping that felt out. Like that, get this last little bit here. Cause I do not like that big wedge between my fingers. I, I don't like that at all. So I'm pulling off this felt here and taking it out of here. I get this last little bit here. 
Okay, so once we get that basically cleared out of there and all of that uh, that felt out of there, now you can see that when I use that tab, it's not going to be an issue. See, I can squeeze my fingers together if I want or whatever I want, but I don't have that big wedge in there. So with that said, I also don't like these two flaps flapping around. So I'm going to take that. I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue right here like this. I need a paper towel handy, that one. And there we go. And I'm going to put glue right on this upper edge like this so that it's going to glue this together there we go and then we are going to put those together and just squeeze them so that they are locked in roll that right around on there make sure it's all good wipe off the access like so and now we have that tab glued together so it looks like this okay that back edge is glued together i didn't glue the whole thing shut just that back edge to keep these ears together now while i let this sit let's look at one that's done already like that you can see here on this one okay i just glue them so that they're just going to work as one one piece they're not going to separate what that does is that ends up being a spacer in there for me which is nice it ends up as an indexer for me so if that tab is on the back of my hand when i swing it that little piece, that flap, catches right between my fingers. I know right where to put it and right where to grab. So it's a very simple, on the back of my hand used, and then when I spin it around, I can grab that piece on there. Um, so it's functional. It works good for me. When I bite the string, let's use the one that's already been used a lot here just to show you as an example. And I can also show you what I mean by when I say they will stretch out some. Look at here. Now this one is a few years old. Look at the difference in size you can see there's a little bit it's stretched out a little bit on there size wise and uh, from this one this is the one I use all the time this is my backup one but with that being there it's like I said it just fits on my finger well spins around good but it puts it out there right where I want it to be if when I first get one and it's brand new I got to shoot it a few times to get that to stretch out but I don't want that tab when you look at the line on this where that's going across my fingers Okay, see how that's coming right in here like this, right there's my string groove. My fingertip is exposed, this fingertip is exposed. I want that because that's the finger that goes in the corner of my mouth. I do not want the tab to be so big that when I draw that tab or I draw that string back that that tab is, I don't want to feel that tab on my face at all. I want to have that right on the edge of those strings so I feel my finger. So when I grab my bow and we look at this here, so we're going to come we're going to come in this way i'm going to kind of not block that light but so when i grab that i want to grab that where i'm going to have that fingertip sticking out see how i use just the edge of the tab basically is what i'm doing here that's where i want to be i don't need that tab to be way into here i just catch the edge of the tab is all i need i just need the end of that and i let my finger stick out farther than the tab as you're seeing here so that i can feel that in the corner of my mouth so when I draw that back, I'm going to actually have that where that tab is going to hit or that finger is going to catch the corner of my mouth and not be that tab. So you can see size wise how it is on my hand. And I like that. OK, I don't want a big one. So for me, that's what works really good. It's a simple, functional kind of a tab. Um, again, I've been shooting it for so many years, I wouldn't even know how to switch to a different one. <clears throat> Once I left a glove and I went to a tab, this was the first one I tried. I liked it, but it's like old shoe for me. It fits well. It works well. It's been used so long that I know it inside and out. I know where I'm feeling it. I know I, everything about it is is perfect for me for the the way i'm so used to again when you've been doing the same thing over and over again for 20 years why change it and it works fantastic now like i said there's a lot if i was starting this all new i probably wouldn't go with this tab i would probably go with some of the new custom ones that are out there that are really nice but these for nine dollars pulling that center wedge out of there pulling that foam insert wedge out and gluing these shut um, makes it a perfect tab for me. The ability to take this and, like I said, spin it on the back of my hand, have it out of the way so that it's not there until I need it, but just to be able to roll it and then have it set. I can carry my bow. I can carry anything I want to, but when it's time to shoot, I take and I pull an arrow out. I put an arrow on the string like this, and I'm set, and then when I need to, all I got to do is just roll that. Watch the difference here. So I can do all this stuff and work on anything I want to, pull an arrow, but when it's time to shoot, watch that tab. That's all it is right there. It's done. It's ready. So it's just a matter of flipping it right around my finger, lock right on. Because that center ridge 
just drops right between my fingers. I know exactly where the tab is. I can control that whole tab, where it goes and what it does by that ridge that we glued together. So I really like that feature, even though it's non-functional in a tab, but it lets me line that up and control it really quick and have that on that string to be able and ready to shoot. So for me, it's just a, a beautiful, simple, functional tab. It's like I said, there's, there's no rocket science to this. There's no brilliance to it. Um, there's nothing fancy about it, but so many people have asked, what tab is that? What tab do you shoot? How do you, do you make your own tabs? No, that's what it is. It is a neat pinch free is what the model is made by neat. It is a pinch free tab. And uh, there's the details on it, but this is what it looks like, you know. And then I take and pull that ridge out, or that uh, that all that foam chunk comes out of there. I glue it tight there, that's still drying, but and then it gives me my ability to keep my fingers on that ridge nice and tight. And that tab's gonna fit perfect right on there. My arrows fit right between it perfectly. So when I grab that, I put an arrow on and we knock it. Do that again here. So we put this arrow on. I got this kind of set up backwards here. I can't really come in any closer because we're on my sink here, but showing you here. So this is how it comes in right there. So you can see how that, that brass knock rubs a little bit right there, but that is my position on that string right there. That's exactly how I grab it, how I shoot. But that indexer on that tab makes it super simple to come in and hook that. Okay, just sweet and easy, and that's what it looks like for me in my shooting style. So for me, that, uh, hang on, let me not knock things over, that, uh, that pinch-free tab is, <clears throat> you know, it's sweet, simple, easy, and it works fantastic, and that's how I make them, I guess, is basically what it boils down to. They're nothing expensive. They're nothing fancy. There's a lot of amazing out options out there in a tab. This one is just the one I started with. I never left it and it's worked fantastic for me, and it's so comfortable for me as far as like part of my system that I don't ever want to replace it. That's why I have so many of these too. If they ever decide to stop making them, I, have, I want to have enough to be set for the rest of my life, and I basically do, and that's the beauty of them. But it is a simple, functional kind of a tab, neat, pinch-free one. So there you go. Thanks for watching.